So you're on the five and one and you're really missing bread. Well, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can make your own with a mini waffle maker in this video. Check it out. For less than $15 on Amazon, you can pick this bad boy up and he's gonna change your entire routine, guaranteed. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make your own waffled fuelings in this waffle maker. I'm telling you this thing is a heaven sent. I cannot believe it took me over a year to actually purchase this thing, but this is one of those absolute must haves. I'm gonna show you my favorite fueling that I make in this waffle maker, show you the exact steps I take to make it. My very favorite, number one, is the mashed potatoes. They are so diverse in what you can do with them. But with the waffle maker, I absolutely love those potatoes. They just go to a whole new level. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. For this recipe, we're going to be using the smashed potatoes, liquid egg whites. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of those just to give it a little bit of fluff. Mozzarella, and we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is plug in your Dash mini waffle maker. Use some nonstick spray. That's gonna be an important part in the process. While that's warming up, I'm gonna put in the smashed potatoes. I am currently using the sour cream and chive. That's my absolute favorite, but you can use whichever you would like. Next, I'm going to take one tablespoon of egg whites, six tablespoons of water I'm going to add to this. We want it to be a little bit thinner. Two tablespoons of cheese, and we're gonna mix that all down together with a fork. So the goal with this fueling hack is actually to make the smashed potatoes thin enough that you're gonna be able to make two patties, like a crust essentially, to make a grilled cheese sandwich. And that consistency right there is perfect. Great. All right, so now that we have this ready, we're gonna go ahead and pop open our Dash mini waffle maker, bring that into focus here. We're gonna take a spoon. We're gonna spoon out some of this smashed potatoes. And this is gonna puff up, so you don't wanna to put too much on there. But you don't wanna to put too little because you wanna have an actual bread-like patty when you're done. Okay, so I like to make it to where it's gonna fill most of this container with enough edge that whenever you put the lid down, it's gonna fill out and then as it's starting to cook, it's gonna fluff up because of that egg that's in there. So for about a minute or two, what I do is put my ramekin on top. Just add some pressure to the top so that it grills the potatoes and it makes it really crusty on top. So I'll also use my finger to push down on the lid just to be careful that this waffle maker does get very hot. For the middle of the patties that we're gonna use, we're gonna use a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Like I said, I don't like to use an entire cup of cheese whenever I make this just because I don't wanna add that much fat to my diet. So I'm gonna use a little bit, but not all of it. So while we're waiting for this to cook, I was just curious what your favorite fueling hack is. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite fueling hack is, and maybe a couple fueling hacks you would love to see me try. I'm always up to try something new, uh, and I would love to see if there's a fueling hack that you love that maybe I've never heard of. So comment down below. All right, so that's looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this guy out of there. And as you can see, he's nice and brown. That's fantastic. We're gonna add the rest of our smashed potato mix. All right, we're gonna put the lid down on that guy. Set our ramekin on top, just so we can get a little bit of extra pressure. In the meantime, I'm gonna take some mozzarella cheese and just probably about two tablespoons again, and that should be pretty good. All right, so it's time to take off the ramekin. Go ahead and lift up the lid. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. So careful removing this one. The one thing I forgot to mention is you should spray some more nonstick spray between your waffles, but check that out. That is absolutely fantastic. Go ahead and lay that guy right on top there. Close and unplug your Dash Mini Waffle Maker and you are all set. Here is our mini waffle sandwich. Go ahead and slice this guy in two. And as you can see, 
we have a wonderful consistency, a very bready middle. And there you have it. This is a delicious fueling hack that is super simple, especially with the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. If you guys wanna find your own, I'm gonna link it in the description below. I would love for you to check that out. They are an absolute lifesaver and I absolutely love mine. I wish I could use it for every single fueling and I might use it for several. So maybe I'll tell you more about that in our next video. All right guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for putting up with my voice. It is slowly starting to come back, but I appreciate your patience. And if you want to know how I did this and more recipes, I would suggest you look on Pinterest. I will link this one below. Please hit that like button if you haven't already. Please consider subscribing if you're not and share this with other people who might find this useful and valuable. I wanna encourage you in your journey towards better health and I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Take care.